All right, Allie, we are now officially live. Good morning, good morning, everybody. Um, we are bringing you another employer this Thursday morning here at 9.30 um, for the Northern Kentucky Career Center's Facebook Live broadcasts. If you are tuning in, please let us know that you can see and hear us. Allie, say hi to everybody. Hi, y'all. She is a newcomer to Facebook Live, and we are so excited to have her. Um, she's with Pella Windows, and we're going to talk a little bit more about the roles that they are hiring for there at Pella, and um, just a little bit more in-depth detail on the uh, roles and the pay and the benefits that come along with them. So stay tuned and we will talk about it. Um, if you did have questions throughout the video, please make sure to put those in the comment section and we will get to those questions um, at the end of our conversation. We'll pull those up. And this video will be on our Facebook page and our YouTube page until the end of time, Allie. So your cute little face will be out there for All the right. world to see. <laughs> Great. And um, we will get any questions answered that folks have. So keep that in mind. Okay. How's your morning going? Pretty good. Get in, good. You know, kind of the first, like this is kind of my kickoff for my day. So it'll be good. Yes, that's perfect. We love it. Um, if you guys can see and hear us, like I said, let us know. Say hi. Uh, tell us you're here. You're excited to hear all the great things that Allie is bringing to us from Pella Windows. We've got a couple viewers hopping on. And it looks like... Hi, Casey. Thanks for joining us this morning. It looks like folks can see and hear us, so we will get started, Allie. All, All right. right. So without further ado, um, introductions real quick for those of you that don't know us. My name is Haley Franklin, and I am a Youth Talent Development Specialist for the Kentucky Career Center. My office is in Carrollton, but I work for the entire Northern Kentucky region. Um, we work with young adults, 16 to 24. So keep that in mind, Allie, if you um, want to get together later and talk about some internship opportunities we have, we can definitely do that. And then, of course, we have our wonderful, amazing guest here, Miss Allie Schertzinger, and she's an HR gener generalist at Pella Windows. So we're so very excited to have her this morning. Thank you, Allie. I'm excited to be here. This is fun. Yes, perfect. All right. So without further ado, we'll get started um, with the overview. If you would like to go into that for us, Allie, give us a little overview of Pella Windows. Absolutely. So as we've, we've always kind of encountered that a lot of people know the Pella name. It's one of kind of that top five window and door companies really in the U.S. And the way that the company kind of works is that you have Pella Corporate that makes and manufactures the windows all across the country, a whole bunch of different plants and things. And then you have privately owned distributorships that distribute them, they sell them, we install them, we service them. Basically, once it's done being made on the factory floor, the privately owned distributorships take it from there. It's, you can think about it kind of the same way as your Ford dealership. You know, whoever owns your local Ford dealership doesn't work for Ford, they work for themselves. And it's very similar to what we do here. Uh, we have a relationship with Pella, obviously, because we're able to use the name and the logo, but we are privately owned. So the owner of our company lives in Hyde Park. He's lived here for forever. He's a Cincinnati native, very close and, uh, you know, very close and locally owned and locally operated. So you're not, you know, working here in Cincinnati or in Northern Kentucky, but getting, or it's Lexington or Louisville, actually. We also have places down there, but, you know, getting managed out of California or something. Yeah. Um, so with that, with the distributing, selling, servicing, installing, all of that, the different opportunities that we have for employment really run the gambit um, from line work in the warehouse to delivery driving to customer facing positions to sales to management and everything in between. Awesome. Thank you so much for that overview for those folks that don't know. Um, the next question I have for you gets right down into it. Uh, what positions are you guys currently hiring for? Absolutely. So I'm going to kind of split this up by region. 
Okay. I think that's the easiest way to kind of talk about it. Um, so we have our Cincinnati showroom, which is up in Montgomery, Ohio. And it is, it's close to Kenwood, if people are familiar with that kind of area. And that's kind of, for Cincinnati, that's our big, pretty, you know, walk-in wow factor kind yeah. of. That, that's, and that's where our sales teams work out of. And it's where you can go in and really lay eyes on a physical door or window that you want to buy from Pella. Um, so up there, we're currently looking for an architectural representative, somebody who is familiar with um, architecture, maybe has just graduated or is getting ready to graduate from an ARC program, um, or who has been in the or who's been in the field for a while. Somebody who can really dig down and get some knowledge about the windows and doors and impart that to architects, contractors, builders, and that kind of thing. We're also looking for um, in-home retail sales reps up there in Cincinnati. So these are going to be our sales reps who are going to go into people's homes and sell them windows to replace the ones that they already have. So this is the business to consumer part of our business where we're selling to people just like you or me who have been sitting in their houses for all of 2020 and they're tired of looking at their old windows and they want to buy new ones. Yeah. Um, they're going into the home, selling windows, and then starting the process and walking through that way. So that's for Cincinnati. Uh, we also have a Sharonville warehouse where we're looking to hire installers. Uh, those people will work out of Sharonville. And that's, you know, we're really looking for any in-home, residential, or even new construction and remodeling uh, installation experience. It doesn't necessarily have to be in windows and doors, you know, like let's say you've been putting in countertops or remodeling bathrooms. We can take that experience and kind of mold it into windows and doors. Yeah, so we're looking, and that, that's a big part. We're really looking to expand that part of the business. We have previously been using mostly subcontractors for that, and we're looking to bring it in-house. So we're really interested in those installers for windows and doors that, you know, go out every day. Jobs take usually one to two days and then we rinse and repeat and you do it all over again. Yeah, that makes sense. So you guys are looking for architectural representative, mm -hmm. in-home sales rep, and then installers, so, correct? Yep, so that's for Cincinnati. We're really looking for those three. Um, bringing it down to Northern Kentucky and to Hebron. We are currently searching, we're always looking for good warehouse and delivery drivers. So we're looking for warehouse associates, the people who are unloading and reloading um, the trucks that come, you know, unload the trucks that come in from Pella and then loading them back onto the trucks to get distributed out to where they have to be. If that's someone's home, if that's a job site, anything like that. Um, so those, it really is unload it, put it away, pick it, put it back on a truck. Um, that's really what the warehouse associate does for us. Um, we only have first shift Monday through Friday, occasional Saturdays, but like very, very occasional. Um, you know, so you're not going to be at work until 10 o'clock at night and you're not going to be at work on Sunday. Um, oh. Then the delivery drivers uh, that we're looking for as well. We, and those are just, you know, you help load and then you run the route, you run the route, um, you um, help unload the truck when you get there and then keep going to the next stop, next stop, next stop. Um, that can be anywhere from south of Dayton all the way down to Lexington and Louisville for drop-offs. And we're looking for somebody to, uh, who has some driving experience for that one. Um, you know, it doesn't, you don't have to have your CDL or anything. You're not driving a semi. Nice right, but it is a 26 foot box truck. So we want some driving experience. We want to know that you can drive something bigger than a Civic. Right, <laughs> absolutely. Um, and, so, and so those are those are really our ones for Hebron. Um, we're also in we're also looking for a project manager. There's some conversation around whether or not that person's going to work out of Hebron or Sharonville. Uh, and that's somebody we're really looking for somebody who has experience measuring windows and doors. And that can be with installation, um, carpentry work, remodeling, new home, looking for somebody who can go out and basically double check the salespeople's measurements. Um, you know, when it comes to installing a window, it might not be that big of a deal for them to sell you a 34 inch window when they're having the sales conversation, but right. when we're talking about ordering it and installing it, 34 and a quarter is a huge deal. <laughs> so we're really looking for somebody with some attention to detail and some experience with remodeling windows, doors, carpentry, something in that area. Um, for, so that would be either Hebron or Sharonville. There's some wiggle room there. Awesome. <laughs> So we're really, so as far as Hebron is concerned, we're really looking for delivery drivers and warehouse associates. Okay, perfect. Here are big ones. 
And okay. then for, can I talk about Lexington and Louisville? Since you're in Carrollton, you're kind of that halfway. You can. Or, yeah. Okay. Um, so we also have some openings in Lexington and Louisville. We're looking for that same in-home sales rep, that retail sales going into people's homes. We're looking for somebody for, in Lexington and Louisville for that. And then we're looking for a trade sales rep for Louisville as well, someone who can do business to business work, where you're selling things to, say, a contractor, a builder, architectural firms, things like that. Okay, that's amazing. Thank yep. you. In home sales rep and trade rep. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So we talked about the positions and uh, I know I want to talk about the pay rates with you next and I know they can vary, but get into a little bit more detail with that for us, Allie. Yeah, absolutely. So um, kind of doing that the same way, I guess we'll talk about it. Um, the arc rep, the architectural rep and the sales rep, the way particularly the sales reps are going to work is you're going to come on at a somewhere between like 30 to $45,000 a year salary and then transition to 100% commission. That is something that's 100% between you and your manager. We're not just gonna shove you off the deep end and be like, all right, you're in it. It's 100% commission now. It's as soon as you're comfortable. Um, and for the most part, that really works out in our sales rep's favor. Uh, you know, you can be making anywhere from 50 to $80,000 within your first year of going 100% commission. Wow. Architectural rep, that one's going to be more of just like a straight salary starting out around forty five, fifty thousand dollars a year and some bonus opportunities, particularly if you're bringing in architectural firms who are helping us get sales. There are definitely bonus opportunities for that, but there's no strict commission where that one's concerned. Um, for the installers, we're starting right around eighteen dollars an hour. Uh, obviously, it can be more than that if somebody has been installing windows for 15 years. Obviously, that experience is going to be worth something to us, but we start the base pay for those installers is going to be $18 an hour. The, right. same, the same is true for our delivery drivers and our warehouse associates. Our base pay is $18 an hour. Um, so again, a little, little bit of wiggle room on that if you have a ton of experience. You know, if you've been driving box trucks for the last 10 years and you know, perfect safety record and everything like that. That's, that's definitely worth something to us. But our what? base pay for those to the warehouse position and delivery driver positions are also $18 an hour. The project manager or order verification specialist, that's going to come in right around like 23. Um, that those people that we have that are measuring the windows and then overseeing some of the subcontractors, that's going to be about $23 an hour. Um, that pretty much covers the gambit. Covers the right pay rates. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Um, if you guys have more specific questions about like experience you've had um, and what your pay rate might be, I'm sure you can get with Allie or um, shoot us an email or a comment on this video and we'll get your uh, question answered for you. Absolutely. Um, so this next question is kind of odd. Um, I always like to ask if there's any special requirements that you're asking of applicants that are outside of the qualification requirements. So anything like kind of different that you're asking? Not really. Um, mostly we're looking for some industry experience. Um, it's, you know, windows and doors is kind of niche. But as far as like looking for building experience and construction experience for those positions that are that, that require it. Um, but outside of that, there's not there's not a lot, you know, outside of the norm that we're really looking for. Awesome. That's actually really good. <laughs> Um, and then the next question is super important. How do our job seekers apply? These sure. Positions. So I see that you have that scrolling across the bottom. Yeah. Um, we have the Pella.com slash about slash careers. You can also find us on Facebook and message and somebody will get back to you um, so that we can. It'll either be myself or the marketing uh, director will get back to you and kind of we can walk you through it. And I mean, we have people all the time who will reach out to me directly if they somehow get my information, you know, from something like this or yeah. you know, a job fair, anything like that. But the best bet is to go to that pella.com slash about slash careers so that to just go straight there, you can see all of our positions, you can see the job descriptions, you can see the location that they're in, all of that. What is your Facebook page name, Allie? I believe it is Pella Windows and Doors of Greater Cincinnati. Okay. We can link that to you in the comment section. So if people want to just click on that, it'll be um, mobile friendly. Can I chat in here? 
You can try. I've never had a guest try. You can try I it. I, I don't think I can. Yeah, so it's Polo Windows and Doors, and then it's parentheses Cincinnati, Ohio. Oh, okay. Is actually what the, yeah. And the at is Polo Windows and Doors of Montgomery all together. Oh, Polo Windows and Doors, and then in parentheses. Cincinnati, comma, OH. Got it. Okay, so that will go in the comment section. I'll also link it too, so they can click on it there. And obviously um, any of our, you know, we run everything through Indeed, LinkedIn, and ZipRecruiter as well. So if anybody's on there, you can come find us. Yeah, it's right on the, um, probably right as soon as you Google it, I think. I saw it this morning yeah, too. Yeah, I think it's the first thing. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, so this next question is my favorite that I like to ask employers. Uh, what is a day in the life like of an employee at Pella Windows for one of the roles that you're hiring for? Just give us a little background. Sure. Um, Pick a fun one. Uh, so for the, well, we'll do two. So we'll do delivery driver. Um, come into the come into the Hebron location at about 6 a.m. Uh, get your list for where you're going to be driving today and your route. If there's anything that needs to be done as far as helping the other, uh, the warehouse people help load up the truck or get that done, uh, help get it, get you out the door then help load up the truck, then do a quick walk around, do an inspection of the truck to make sure everything is as it's supposed to be. You're not gonna break down halfway to Louisville. Um, and then hop in the truck and you'll go to your first you'll go to your first route location. Let's say that's 30 minutes away, you and your second get in the car, you get in the truck, you drive your to your 30 minute location, hop out, whoever's there says, hey, I need you to put that window right here in this garage. Um, get it out, unstrap it, unload it, get it into where it needs to be in the garage, make sure everything is strapped down tight again, hop back in, maybe it's another 40 minutes to your next stop, do it again, rinse and repeat, and then route back up to Hebron. Um, we do try to plan the route so that it is most efficient way possible, not always the case, but uh, we do try. And so, and then you come back around, you know, anytime between like two and six, honestly, depending on what route you're running, and then uh, turn in your paperwork, make sure everything gets scanned in correctly, and uh, clock out and go home. Awesome. Uh, and then for the, for the order verification specialist or project manager, uh, you come in, you see what your schedule looks like for the day, and you go out to the first home, uh, greet the homeowner, introduce yourself, tell them where you're from, what you're going to do, and then go in, and you're going to be doing measurement on those windows and doors that they're having replaced. We have lots of different tools for that, you know, manual measurement, laser measurement, that kind of thing. Um, running through the specs with them, all right, you want this to be stained brown, you want it to be painted white, that kind of thing, making sure you're running through all of that fun uh, design things too. Get it back to the, go, then go to your next stop, and then your next stop. Maybe in between there, you're gonna stop and check on one of your subcontractor crews that are currently installing a window or a door. Check right. in, make sure they're, you know, make sure they're doing everything they're supposed to be doing. And then once you get back to the office, making sure you're filing that paperwork over to the coordinator so they can oh, so they can order the windows and doors, they can get them in, and then we can start the process all over again. I love that you said rinse and repeat. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I love it. So cool. Thanks for giving us some insight into that, Allie. Absolutely. Um, now we only have two questions between you and I, and then any viewers that are watching that they have questions um, are able to put those in the comment section. So just a reminder to those of you that are watching, um, go ahead and ask us any question you might have, and we will get to those after our little conversation here. Um, next is the qualification requirements. Can you go into that with us? Sure, absolutely. So for those like sales positions, really what we're looking for is We'd like to see a degree or some college, uh, and then we just want to see some sales experience. And that can be such a huge variety of things. We've hired bartenders. We've hired people who have done mattress sales. We've hired people who have come from like Verizon. Um, it doesn't have to be, again, windows and doors are so niche. We're not always looking for somebody who's done this job before. Uh, particularly with sales positions, we're looking for somebody who has the, the personality. We can teach you the sales process. We want to make sure that you have the personality to get into somebody's home and convince them to buy windows and doors for us Yes. in a way that makes them want to come back and do it again and tell all their friends. 
Uh, so for the sales, that's really it. We want a little bit of experience in sales at least, and we want either some college or a degree. And you'd be surprised at the kind of degrees we see come across too. You know, it doesn't have to be in business development or anything like that. We get a lot of people who have communications degrees. We have a lot of people who have, um, we get a lot of people who also have like marketing degrees, which is interesting. Nice. You know, coming through, it's, it's never just this one thing, this one track leads you to a salesperson at Pella. Great. Um, as far as any of like the, and we kind of, I kind of talked a little bit about the qualifications when it comes to like the measuring the order verification specialist, anything like that, the windows and doors installers, if we're hiring for service text, when we're hiring for the um, order verification or project managers, really what we're looking for is some experience in construction. Preferably remodeling because the majority of what we do is in somebody's home and it's very right. different to go into somebody's home and work with something that already exists rather than something that's being put together brand new, right? You know, you run a window into a wall when you're doing a brand new home, that's fine. Somebody comes in tomorrow, they backflip, they stand it, and it's like it never happened. When you're walking into somebody's home that already exists, that's not what it's like. So we want, you know, that attention to detail and that that comes from remodeling is helpful. But as long as it's some kind of carpentry or something like that, we're usually pretty happy. Yeah. <laughs> and then with the with the warehouse, it's with the warehouse associates, it's less about the experience that you have specifically and more about your ability to lift very heavy things. Um, when people hear warehouse, sometimes they think manufacturing, and that's not at all what we do. Um, some of our windows can get up to 500 pounds. Wow. And obviously, that's a team lift. We're never going to say, like, hey, Hulk, pick up that 500 pound window. But, um, you know, the expectation is there that you are going to have to lift very heavy things all day, every day. And we want to make sure that that I try to set that expectation the very first time I talk to people. Yes. Um, but as far as experience goes, you know, customer service is nice because sometimes you go out on the road, but you know, that's kind of, and again, like I said, with the drivers, it's just, we want to make sure that you've driven something bigger than a sedan uh, yeah. sometime in your life. You don't already have to have your medical DOT. We'll pay for that and help you get it and make sure if you're trained to get it. Nice. Uh, you, don't, you definitely don't have to have your CDL. We don't require it, but we just want to, so to see some experience driving something a little bit larger. Absolutely. That makes total sense. Yeah. Um, so we talked about qualification requirements. I have a question. Sure. Um, since I work with young adults, what age do you guys normally start hiring at? So for the most part, any of these positions are 18 and up because of the requirements of things like power tools, driving requirements, um, that kind of thing. Also our 401k requirements. So when we do, if we do any profit sharing are 21 and up. So we kind of try to keep, we want to make sure we're being fair um, with that kind of thing too. So we 18 and up for sure, uh, just based on the the equipment and yeah, the, absolutely. the responsibility that comes with that. Good to know. Thank you. Um, really quick, I just wanted to show this awesome comment by Casey. He said, great information. One of the best presentations by an employer I've seen. We'll definitely share this with others. Thank you, Casey. Thank you so much, Casey. I really appreciate that, especially since it's my first time. Yeah, it's amazing. It's I, a good I, confidence boost. We've been doing this um, well over a year now, so that's great. Um, we really appreciate it. We do it every week. So thanks, Casey. Um, our last question here for Allie is, what are the benefits and resources that you guys offer? Absolutely. So um, our for being a relatively small company, and actually, I don't think I mentioned this, but our census really only comes in at about 80 people plus or minus five. So we are a very small company um, in comparison to considering the volume of work that we do. Uh, we're on track to be a $30 million company this year. Yeah. So on, you know, compared to the volume of work that we do, we are a relatively small company. Um, and that, that comes that comes with a lot of things. But we do offer um, our medical, we offer a dual option uh, where we, you know, where you can pick from two, which is not always the case with smaller companies. So kind of like to highlight that a little bit. Um, we also just, you know, medical, dental, all that's pretty standard. We do offer a 401k with a partial match. So we'll match partial, we're basically half of what you put in up to a certain point. Um, PTO is actually quite generous. Um, you start off your first year, it's prorated by when you start, but then um, as of the first of the year, within like your next, it's two and a half weeks or 12 days. Uh, and it goes up from there. 
every every two or three years you get an additional two days. So rather than it being like you have to be here for five years before you can get a week or anything like that, it's this like incremental rise in the, the paid time off. Great. Um, we also through Anthem have an employer assistance program or employee assistance program, which is really nice. It offers things like um, counseling, financial planning, legal services, things like that to a certain level at no cost to the employee. That's amazing. Um, let's see, Allie, we do have a question. Lisa yes. Trout is asking, what are the fun things Pella does for their employees? I love that question. Yeah, so we're allowed to do fun things again, which is nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, love that. Yeah. Uh, actually, we just this past Friday had a cookout for all the Cincinnati and Hebron employees. We put it on our uh, controller, grilled out uh, back on the dock, and we put together kind of like picnic style. Everybody came out and ate, um, sat outside, did dessert. We had a ping pong tournament after it was kind of winding down. We had a ping pong tournament after the fact, which That's was super fun. fun. Um, we're really, I think this year, throughout the end of this year and up into the beginning of next year, we're really going to try to be focusing on some of those smaller things. Um, in the past, we've done big stuff like we've gone to Keeneland, we've gone to Reds games, things like that. And we're still planning on doing some of those things. But, you know, the thing with that is if somebody can't make it, oh, you missed the one big thing for the year and, you know, right. oh, well, wait till the Christmas party, right? <laughs> so we, um, so I think we're going to be doing more smaller things like that, just kind of some meet and eat where, you know, okay. it's not, it's not a, it wasn't a meeting. We, it, there were no, there was no agenda really. It was just, hey, come eat, talk to each other. Mm -hmm. We're, we've had a couple of record months. Uh, April and June were both record months for us in different ways for selling, shipping, that kind of thing. And we really wanted to celebrate that. So did it in a way that just kind of got everybody together to chat. Thanks that meet me. I Thank you Lisa, for your question. That's great that you're a loyal viewer and watching us here. Allie, thanks for answering that. Um, I don't see any other questions rolling in. Uh, but if they do, as the week goes on, I'll let you know, Allie, if I don't know the answers to those questions sure. and talk with them. Um, did you have anything else you wanted to add before we conclude here? I don't think that I do. I, I think you probably, pretty much covered most of it. Yes, you did a great job for your first Thank Facebook you. job. <laughs> Congratulations. Um, we did it with no technical difficulty, so it was great. Thank you so much. Oh, it's good. Um, if you guys have questions, like I said, put them in the comments box and we'll get right back with you. Uh, thanks again for hosting this, Haley. This has been great. And thanks yeah. to everybody who kind of tuned in and gave me some of their time this morning. Yes. Thank you so much, Allie. I hope you have a great day. You too. Thanks. Bye. Bye.